While Viking was still in the drawing boards, Assistant Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Dan Gallery had initiated a feasibility study of launching a large rocket from a ship at sea. The project was called Operation Sandy, and at the time, the only rocket available was the V-2. Naval personnel were instructed on fueling and launch procedures. Then two of the rockets and necessary equipment were transported across the country and loaded aboard the aircraft carrier USS Midway. The largest carrier in the Navy, Midway was selected for her steadiness in the water and armored steel flight deck. She represented the ideal launch platform. It was a high-profile, VIP-laden event. Admiral Gallery was a vocal advocate for long-range missiles. On September 6, 1947, several hundred miles south of Bermuda in the Caribbean Sea, countdown began to the first and only launch of a V-2 at sea. Something like that had never been done before. I was on the island of the Midway. The V-2 started coming toward the island. And all of us on the island raced over to the other side. The Sandy V-2 tipped almost 45 degrees as it left the ship, struggled to right itself, and finally broke apart at 15,000 feet. Admiral Gallery was very discouraged. 